and see what he can get. And boom! 100 overall Tom Seaver 40 billion coins. Get hyped. Get hyped, everybody. Only 100 overall in the game, and now the Shim's place has him. Expect some gameplay on him. Welcome, Welcome back, back to another MLB Perfect in 2018 video. It is Shim from the Shim's place here. What is popping? Hope you're having a good day. And today we are going to uh, be doing a game with Skull Gaming Network. He's on the other end if he wants to say something. What's up, peeps? Yeah, so I'm hoping that I can get uh, him talking and me talking at the same time. It's going to be a little complicated in editing, lots of editing, audio syncing to do. So that means yeah. smash the like button for all the editing Shimp has to do. Yeah. Uh, go subscribe to Skull Gaming Network. Uh, check out his Legend Pack opening where he opens some Legend Packs. A little Santa yeah, Skull over I there mean, decided to buy people some, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, yeah. legend packs for 99 cents each, so big thanks to him. Hey, I had to do my Black Friday shopping somehow, I didn't want to go to any stores, so. <laughs> Why is Seaver's S-curve S-grade? I, I, like, don't have any boosts on him or anything. Uh, he's in a above average happy mood oh wow how, how did you that hit that, that? I, same way anyone hits a curveball in the dirt you just put your bat down low and somehow gameville lets you hit pitch <laughs> was that an s curve too that was the change up okay So, does the S-curve just have, like, straight down break to it? Let's see. Or, like, Here, I'm going to take an S-curve or two if you throw me a couple. All right, I'm throwing you one right now. That was heavily downwards. It was kind of like a 12-6 curveball, except for velocity-wise, it felt a little bit too sharp for an S-curve. Or for, sorry, it felt too sharp for a 12-6 curve. Okay. We're seeing fastballs if we're still tied. Okay. All right. So that was a changeup. Let's see if you're gonna throw an S curve. What that might look like. If you're throwing an S curve, we'll see what it looks like here. Yeah, it's. It drops deceptively far down, is the best way yeah. I can describe it. That's filthy. That's filthy. And then you throw the four seam right after that, and just the velocity change is insane. Yeah. Pop out to Molina behind catcher's position. It's so like the S curve compared to the changeup. They're very similar. The S curve just drops more and a little bit to the side. But Ooh. the four seam fastball is just lethal. What, what the, the heck? heck? It looked like it went over the wall, but then your guy ran into the <laughs> wall. Did that happen on your screen too? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah it did. That was really weird. That's happened a few times, believe it or not. Well, Petco Park is unofficially officially glitched. Popped up the center, Young running out. Boom. Two down. I mean, this Seaver card is still a really nice card, even at a plus one. Yeah. Is that the S curve? Yes, that was. I'm surprised you made contact. I mean, I was sitting where the changeup would have come in. And if it was a changeup, I would have blasted it. But the fact it was an S curve, it was just a weak little liner to short.
when you see the video, you will see the lag that I have to deal with when I'm hitting. Like, I'll put in this AB on offense, and that's kind of it. Okay. I guess because you're including this at bat anyways, I'll just say, like... I'm to like we're totally fine with each other with Shim throwing me the S curve. So if anyone out there is like, oh my gosh, you're cheesing throwing the S curve. Oh yeah. We're yeah. both consenting to Alright. Here it comes. I guess if you sit on it, you can hit it. <laughs> yeah. If you sit on it, you can hit it, but it's not an easy pitch to hit. Yeah. I mean, if you want to mix it in again and try to get more of a candid here, I'll pinch it. Uh, this guy, sure. But like, if you want to throw it to me to get like a candid, a, well, a candid attempt at hitting it, I'm totally down. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll mix, mix it, it in somewhere. Because I, I think it is objectively like the hardest pitch to hit that's not incredibly cheesy. Was that the S curve? How did you hit that? I went up You're to hit it like a changeup, and I think I timed it just early enough where I hit it before it broke all the way down. You're actually hacking. <laughs> all right, there we go. Pop out short and Peralta. But we did take the one zero lead. Now, which one was that? That was the S curve. Okay. See, if that was a changeup, I would have hit it better. But the S curve definitely is not. See, I had fouled that one off. That was your low and in four seamer, right? Yeah, yeah. Was that another S curve? No, that was a changeup. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to hit it as if it's a changeup. It's like the changeup compared to the S curve is really not too bad, but the four seam fastball, like yes, it's faster, but around the time you're reacting to move to the S curve is around the time the four seam fastball crosses the plate for a strike. No, I was gonna say, I should see if I have another batter that's a better pitcher. <laughs> I'm realizing I can't put batters in as pitchers unless I pinch it. Yeah. If Adrianza keeps it to a tie, that will be miraculous. No! Goodbye, baseball. And you said you need a new second baseman to replace Paul DeYoung. <laughs> no, it's because his offensive stats aren't amazing. Yeah, he only has 107 power. That's... Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Without the team deck, mind you, but... Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, you want, you have anything else to say about the S curve and Tom Seaver? I guess the S curve, at least on Tom Seaver, it wasn't as bad as the K curve in terms of the really nasty velocity. Uh, if you have an S curve compared to a changeup, the S curve just drops more than the changeup. But when you mix it with the fast stuff, that's when the S curve gets really cheesy. So, um, I mean, overall, it wasn't necessarily as bad as I expected, but it still is a pretty cheesy pitch. Yeah. Um, all right, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Skull Gaming Network. I'll probably link his channel in the description below if I remember. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Listen.